with an afterburner. And here it is, on the road, the Yaks 39E vehicle. The carrier-based derivative, 
As far as other customers, the Griffin E and F alongside Sweden and Brazil are concerned. Thailand is purchasing 12 of these aircraft, and Colombia has just confirmed a plan to buy 16. Now, one of the things that's always been key with Saab's jet fighters for a very, very long time has been excellent airfield performance to enable operation from, for example, road strips at time of war in Sweden. And they still practice for that regularly. So, this was built very much into the Griffin. Yeah, absolutely. And part of the national infrastructure as well. You don't just get straight motorways by chance. Um, and this has all been achieved without a brake chute and without reverse thrust. Just a very, very big and effective brakes coupled with a relatively light airplane. And it's possible to achieve a turnaround between missions of just 15 minutes or so in the air-to-air -air role. And there is a pretty short stop, and a pretty poor shot. It's a stop for much shorter. Much shorter. That's, that's under control of about 2,800 feet, which is uh, outstanding. We'll also see the canards in the fully down position, providing some aerodynamic braking there as well. Really impressive. So, a super way with which to start the flying program at React 25, Saab test pilot Martin Donaldson with the Yacht 39A Griffin.